to down your crown. Press the club ball side, you never play. I was the best thing that ever came out of his nuts. Normally, he busts his nuts and some tissue paper. Alright, on that note, what is, what is the first topic of the evening? Have any group chat, but come on, Bobby. Alright. Oh, Everybody hold, to be all back. hold that note. I'll be right back. of the evening, critical moment in American history. What are your opinions on Cougar Care? Let's start with Black Trump. Oh, uh, well, I feel, as you know, uh, I take care of all the ladies like Stormy Daniels. Even though she wasn't big, she was big enough, you know? And uh, what I want to do is give all women that are over the, uh, 200 pounds money every month so they can get slimmer. That's what I want to do. Yes. A, a, a youth fit or a planet fitness uh, membership so they can get slimmer. That's what I want to do. Very, very strong oh, response. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Strong reaction yeah, yeah. from the crowd. Hey, can I see that bike real quick? Hey, hey, if I had the chance, look. Look, I'm just telling you, I, I let you gain 260 pounds for like five minutes and 49 seconds, you know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, wait. What's up then? What's up? Because you're very really attractive. I'm feeling the bun, the red bun. I definitely will harass you. <laughs> okay, closing out the topic, let's take it over to Hood Obama. Hood Obama, what are your thoughts on Cougar Care? Uh, Cougar Care? I uh, don't care. I, uh, <laughs> I like them young and tender. I like young fellas. I'll take care of them myself. I'll take them. I'll my job. Then. Uh, that's it. <laughs> okay, on that note, I'm going to give that first uh, that first topic to Hood Trump. Killed it. Oh, you didn't let Clump go. Yeah, you did. I didn't go at all about Cougar Care. I didn't say shit about Cougar Care. You said about 200 pounds on it. I was just trying to holler and hurt you, though. Anytime you have an opportunity. You got a random guy that wants to say something. Give me a first name. Give me a first name. Watch out so you can get on the camera. Anywhere right here, you can get on the camera. Okay, I can't hear myself. So, I've got a uh, bold creature man impersonation from Family Guy. Oh, let me hear, let me hear. I'll do Brian. I'll do Brian. You have been removed. It's kind of hard to do. You can look at the wrong time. That's all that is. No, no, no. Put your hands up. 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 Put your hands yeah, yeah, I just heard your fat ass. This guy, when you're a fat motherfucker, you turn around and be like, I think they're talking about me. Wait, this, look. <laughs> <laughs> this is the family guy impersonation. You want some candy? Get your fat ass over here, boy. You know you want to come get some candy. <laughs> That's the Okay, all right, yeah, yeah. new guy, one and done. Back to Hood Obama for a minute here. That was an excellent impersonation of the old guy from Family Guy. I guess that was weird. So I give you, I give you Obama a tad, and I give that one like a six and a half. Was that, Stewie? Stewie, I don't remember how Stewie All right, let's close out the uh, food here with uh, Rock Pump here. Let's see it. Hey, I'm th thank you there, Nate, and I'll fuck you, Hood Obama, you know what I'm saying? You call yourself Hood Obama, but the hood never got better when you were in office. Niggas got shot at the same rate that they got shot at before you got in office. They ain't do shit for the black community. You look good. Wow. 
And, and you know what? Fuck you, Doc Black Trump, because that was the real shit he said when you went to the black community and said, what the fuck do you have to lose? You ain't got shit to lose voting for your bitch ass, but you still a bitch. And I believe Cougar Karen's, a lot of these young boys, like Nathaniel, live at home. But why not live at home with someone that's old enough to be your mom that's not your mom? That way in the morning you can wake up to a blowjob and some motherfucking pancakes. <laughs> And a pony, I you know what I'm saying. A motherfucking pony. <laughs> okay, all right. Still giving that first round to Udo Obama. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait a minute. You said Trump. I ain't supposed to be black. That's all. Oh. He's a wigger. Okay. He's a motherfucking wigger. Topic number two. Uh, affordable dates. Uh, Trump oh, hell yeah. First of all, Trump. Uh, affordable dates. First of all, Trump. Uh, I say affordable dates, and what you should do is make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and take your date to the park. That's the best way to save money. Or you can take them to Applebee's. Uh, what they got the two for 20? Best deal ever, okay? Or you can do like me, I'm rich, and just get secret service to make you something to eat. That's what you do, damn it. Well said. Can't say much more than that. It's just right on the nose. All right, hood Obama. Be in very hood right now, just relaxing. Oh. Not performing. <laughs> uh, what are we talking about here? Affordable dates. Uh, affordable dates. Uh, I believe car fucking is good. I um, have Air Force One, uh, Air Force Two, and a uh, couple cars. I just sit them on the back and say, I'm Hood Obama. Next thing you know, survey yo! I remember. <laughs> That's what I have to say about uh, affordable uh, dates. Yeah, so I'm giving the edge to Black Trump on that one. I'm sorry, but I'm wrong. Oh, yeah. Rob? Oh, Rob? Uh, no, you're going right now. Now's your chance. You're, you're, you're skipping me again, you know what? They Fuck you and your white privilege. You know how real white privilege is in America? White privilege is so motherfucking real. I see homeless white people. I don't even feel sorry for them. I don't. That shit be real. How the fuck you on the street begging for motherfucking money? Put your bitch ass. That's how you look at that shit. Now there's someone black and like my brother, it's hard out here. Let me slide you a 10 real quick, you know what I mean? But on um, affordable dates, guys, women have to understand, guys have a method called the ROP. That's called the return on pussy. You know what I mean? You spend like 20 motherfucking dollars, you get your dick wet, you like, oh hell yeah, I had a great motherfucking night. You might call your homie and tell him about that night. But you spend $120, she's like, hey, I had a great time. And you can get no pussy, you're like, oh, fuck you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I believe in affordable dates and women, you know, being nice to brothers that are um, taking you for a two for 20 at Applebee's. You know, you should still uh, let them hit the box, you know, once or twice or a whole night, you know what I mean? Okay, a lot of opinions there. Got strong opinions. I'm giving this around to Black Trump. Yes. Black Trump. Finally, America. Is it finally fair, damn it? All right, we've got a couple more things going here. Gas prices. Look alive, for the law. Starting with black travel. Yes, we need to do something about these gas prices because Biden is messing everything up. He has COVID. He just announced Harris has to step in for him. I mean, the guy fell off a bike. He messed up uh, reading the teleprompter. I mean, oh my God, these gas prices are higher than Snoop Dogg at the Super Bowl. It's ridiculous. The gas prices are so high, I saw a black man ride a horse to work. Come on, it's ridiculous, man. Have you seen that? Come on. Uh, what I propose we do about the gas prices is I'll lower it down to like $2 a gallon. Or you can ride a bike or get a uh, moped. I see a lot of people doing that now. Motor scooters. Okay, all right. Hey, Django made it look pretty cool, I think. You better remember that. Anyway. Let's go to Hood Obama. Uh, make more money. Stop being broke. Get out there and make a change. Make a show like I did for Netflix about uh, going to parties. Going to parties. Do something. Get to the home thing. Wow. Stop being broke. Okay. Wow. I thought he was for the people. Anyway, all right. Stay closing it out. Round of clone. Let's see what First of all, these gas prices are because y'all vote for um, blue and red. 
That is the Crips and Bloods, just so you know. That's all the Democrats and Republicans and they gang numbers. They're fucking gangsters. They're hood ass niggers. Like I know like they're all white and they have suits, but they're the hood as big as you'll ever be in your life. That'll get a, huh? What about Target and That's why they're blue and red too. That's why everything is blue and red in America because they're Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So uh what were we talking about again? Gas prices. Gas prices. So that so basically what they're trying to do, they're trying to bleed you to death and have you be broke. Like you know what I'm saying? Now who the bomb was right about one thing, make more money, because then you can go to the gas pump, you got an extra twenty dollars, you can get your dick sucked. <laughs> like straight up, you can get some head at the shell. See, I did that shit. I was talking to the little bottle. I was chopping up. I was, you know, talking shit. Next thing you know, I was like, yo, I gotta go. I literally put a dub in this bitch tank, and she sucked my motherfucking dick. This is true, my bitch. I don't give a fuck. Shit, I keep it real. My girl ain't here. Oh, shit! She in the dog. Just kidding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then if you're a girl, you need, and you short on some tank, suck some dick. You'll get you a dub in your motherfucking tank, I promise. <laughs> yeah, man, though, no, you're giving, you're giving a round to Ron Paul, no question on that. <laughs> I that. I haven't heard the, the hard R in a long time. I wish I had a joke there, but I don't. Even though I want to step on a landmine. Anyway, uh, what else we got here? I think we got one last topic. There we should talk about the rent prices. Oh, we'll, we'll get there. No, we, we got to for like another 20 minutes. Don't you worry. Oh, we got tons to talk about. Oh, it's okay. No, that's what it is. This is, a, this is such a key topic. Talk about we're really talk about. glad we're having this debate yeah, to discuss yeah, this. Coke, Black Trump, what are your yeah. thoughts on 90 day rules? 90 days, uh, well, with my wife, Melania, I didn't wait 90 days. We waited uh, as soon as after I met her. Huh? <laughs> Actually, when I met her, I had a woman with me. Uh, you saw her tell the story with Barbara Walters. I had a woman with me because I'm a player. Huh? <laughs> Even though I pay for it, it's still, I'm still getting it in, damn it. Uh, I feel like it's up to a woman if she wants to give you some. But those are for the losers who don't have money like me, damn it. Huh? <laughs> I'm not waiting 90 days. My dick can't handle it, all right? Blue balls, or in my case, orange balls, huh? <laughs> Well said, I guess you can't argue with that. This is just this is like this is like a Buddha, like a golden Buddha of life. You know. Advice. Alright, let's give it over to the hood Obama. What are your thoughts? Former President Obama on ninety day rules. Ninety days, uh, your game is weak. Gotta get that pussy in ninety minutes. In ninety days, uh I got a fuck there on another 190 bitches in that time. Uh, Nate, you look like that old 90 days ass snare. <laughs> What's the longest you ever waited to get you a piece of pussy, Nate? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks, that's 90 days. He had 90 days written all over his face. I can tell. I've never waited 90 days for some pussy, Nate. There's gotta be some other pussy somewhere else. We'll go away. <laughs> Pretty strong response, and it's one hell of an impression. We dig it, we dug it a long time, it's still a good impression. Let's finish it out with Ron Clark. Uh, first of all, with 90 day rules, yo, yo ass right here, you know you paid $90,000. That's why you fucked the off the first 90 minutes you saw it. Then you have to pay for it, motherfucker. You don't get the good bitches based off of you, you get good built in business because of your wife. Let's just say that, like for real. Like you fuck prostitutes, basically. You know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with that too, but I fuck prostitutes also, you know what I'm saying? But I make sure they're, you know, I don't like to marry them. Just make sure they're cheap. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they cheap and I will marry them like your bitch ass. Wow. And he said, have better wow. day. You waited three motherfucking weeks? Look, they, I don't wait five weeks, but I was fucking other pussy while I was waiting. <laughs> Shit, look, I can't go like a week without pussy. Like, I would die. I feel like I'm in the Sahari Desert. Imagine going a whole motherfucking week without getting your motherfucking dick wet. Like, wasn't that some bullshit? I have. You have? Goddamn right. You know I live by myself. Oh, you did that. Little Bob Wayne gave that. Oh, Yeah, no, that shit suck. Like, hell no. Like, a, after a week, I'd be like, man, fuck it. 
<laughs> I don't got no type. <laughs> Any bitch I'll pipe. <laughs> I don't know, I was like after a week. I don't got no type. Any bitch I'll pipe. Bars. Okay, alright. Well, there you have it. Three just well versed responses. I'm giving it to Hood Obama. Damn it. It's I, I have to. Son of a bitch. Uh, you still still got a chance. This bullshit, damn you it. can you can overturn the results if you try hard enough. Uh, I demand a week out. You'll get the uh, I'm Brad Rappensburger and I'm telling you now. <laughs> Temporary. <laughs> See what the Supreme Court says. Okay, uh, we have one more. Yeah, we have two more topics. We gotta fill some time here. Yeah. Cause that's what it's all about in the biz. In the biz. In the biz. Oh, here we go. Shenanigans. All right, here's the next topic. If you have a baby mama, can you bring your kids in the dogs? Yes or no? What? Mm. Well, I saw that video. Mm -hmm. Also saw a little Boosie video on the line today. Talk about that. Oh, uh, wow. I love McDonald's, as you know. Uh, I have money where I can financially afford to buy all kids McDonald's. Uh, no, you're not responsible. It's not your kids, damn it. And uh, it's not your problem. So the guy, he handled it the way he was supposed to handle it. I wouldn't do it, damn it. Okay, man, that's my own heart. Don't tend to another man's crops, all right? Don't play another man's game save, all right? Crank up the PlayStation, it's halfway through the game. He played it, don't finish it. Wow. Does that metaphor right. make sense? Get him a TV dinner. Dinner. Hood Obama, your thoughts on this topic? Uh, I gotta buy them all McDonald's. I leave my kids there at night. They're gonna stay up on and whip his ass if that happens. Uh, <laughs> it's almost like a prison system there, you know? I can't leave them alone, and uh, these two kids belong to one, and then the other kid belongs to somebody else, and they fuck around and catch them by himself in the bathroom. You talk to a badass with McDonald's, I'm gonna punk. I can't have to do that, so just to keep the natives all at peace, I drop McDonald's in front of everybody. There you go, stay away from the boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, could be rich, I guess. <laughs> okay, round of plum. Let's see what you got on this. <laughs> Nate said it's good to be rich. McDonald's? So, Jesus are God. you asking, is it okay to take a girl's mistakes to McDonald's? Oh! Wow. Like, you know, her, her, is it okay to fix her a problems? I mean, taking a girl to McDonald's is playing Captain Save a Home. Mm. And every girl likes a hero. <laughs> so, take oh. your kids to McDonald's. Get them a happy meal. You'll have a happy meal too, if you know what I'm saying. Have a happy ending. <laughs> a happy ending. And motherfuckers that don't, don't eat pussy, start telling you, like. Right that was not about the topic. That ain't got shit to do with buying kids happy meals. <laughs> right, 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 right. But I'm saying, make it feel special. You buy kids happy meals. And eat, eat the, the pussy. And eat the pussy, yeah. Three different niggas that met it in it. <laughs> Literally, you see the three niggas. You seen the evidence. <laughs> I mean, you don't gotta like, you know, go in and you know, like, like an ice cream cone, you know. When you get oh. an ice cream cone, you just be like, you know, you ain't really like going in on that motherfucker. You know, you just, you just give a couple licks around it, you know, just to tell you care that you know, you go ahead and make sure you strap up. Because you don't want to be baby daddy number four. And you'll be all right. Okay, well said. Well versed, well said, well prepared. I'm really glad we got that one. Take care. Preach, how we doing, man? What, what's your backstory? You know any of these? Oh, you know, you just showed up. Oh, you're in for such a treat. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome that you came tonight. All right. This may be, we got to fill like 10 more minutes. So this may be one of the last topics. Hunter Biden on drugs. Oh, before I forget, last round, I'm giving it the last round. Yes. To. <laughs> That's Sorry. What I'm about. He's just so he's so well spoken. Yes, I didn't have to see what you. What the fuck? This is I thought all the kids from McDonald's stuff up. I don't know, man. He's, he's doing he's, the right thing, damn it. I'm the moderator and I'm biased. Yes. Okay, last topic. Then you're white. That's exactly it. I'm sick. <laughs> I'm a very sick man. It's in our DNA. <laughs> Open a history book. <laughs> anyway, uh, one of the last topics. <laughs> 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 
in the history book, you're going to see some terrible things. Anyway, where were we going with that? Uh, yes, Hunter Biden. Seen him naked a lot. If you get on the internet, you see the pictures. You know what I'm talking about? You haven't seen this? Oh, okay. We'll just open it up for a second. You know, you know what I'm talking about in the back. The president's kid. I didn't look it up on purpose. You ever go on like chat rooms or forums? The president's kid. Yes. There is like a hundred. No, no, let me stop for a second. Let me quarterback this thing. The president's son, there's like a hundred pictures and like 30 videos of him naked, smoking crack, and having sex with prostitutes. And one of them, he has a credit card and it says Obama on it and he's doing coke with it. And they think that it's. Uh, what's the older Obama daughter? Malia. They think it's Malia. Like he was hanging out with Malia, doing coke together. You, you can see it in the image. The media does not. The damn, the damn liberal media won't bring this up. Anyway, uh, that's the topic. So let's see what you got, Black John. This is going to be great. Come 2024 for me. I mean, his son was doing more drugs than Bobby and Whitney combined. He was partying with prostitutes, doing coke. Looked like he was hanging out with Charlie Sheen. It was great. This is great for my campaign coming up. Oh my God, that has to be the worst son of all time. I mean, you guys talk about me, huh? Oh my God, all I said was drink bleach. But this right here, this does it right here. Oh my God, come on. 2024, I'm gonna win this thing with no problem. And you know it, I got the white people on my side, baby. <laughs> even, even this is making white people look bad, isn't it, huh? Oh my ah. God, this guy makes Rick James look like a, a, a priest. A priest? Nothing he said was false. He was all correct, nothing was false. Okay, 